how's it going? My name's John McLennan. I hope you're doing fantastic and I'm here with GuitarControl.com today bringing you this video lesson and it's on a classic slow blues called G Baby Ain't I Good To You and I love playing this song on gigs. I'm gonna break down the different sections and show you kinda how Kenny Burrell does it and there's a lot of good jazz voicings that I wrote out so be sure to uh, click the link below so you can get the tab that goes along with this video lesson and I'm gonna break down basically how you can play the whole song and you're gonna learn some great jazz chord voicings. Alright well let's zoom in and get started. So for the first part of this tune I'm gonna show you just some stock chord voicings you can use that are basically from the Kenny Burrell version of this off Midnight Blue and you can also use these as a great source to uh, play chord melody as well. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the voicings that I'm going to show you have the melody note in the, in the, in the lead. So uh, I'm starting out on a C13 here, and I've got the 8th fret, the skip a string, 8th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret, and 8th fret. It's a C13 chord, and I use my thumb a lot. Um, this is just stuff that I picked up from Kenny uh, that he showed me. So C13, and then A flat 9 is the next chord, and that's 11, 10, 11, 11. Then I go to G7, which is 10, 9, 10, 8 stock chord back to a C7 with my thumb and that's 8 skip a string 8 9 8 okay so if I just go over the first two bars remember that each chord gets two beats so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay Then the next uh, four chords, I like to use an F7 flat 9 here, which is 8, 7, 8, 7, F, A, E flat, G flat, to an A flat triad with a B flat in the bass. And this is a great, it's one of my favorite chords actually, it's just having a major triad and then I use my thumb again to get that root. If you don't want to use your thumb, you can play it like this. Uh, eight, or sorry, six, six, five, four. But it sounds better this way. <laughs> and then E flat six, which I uh, play with just three fingers, uh, but I'm kind of uh, double stopping these two notes here. So I've got six, five, five, four. G7 sharp 5, which is 10, 9, 8, 8. Kind of like a, a T bone walker chord or something like that. <laughs> you, know, you might hear that in like Stormy Monday. So. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, F7 flat 9, A flat over B flat, E flat 6. G7 sharp 5. Okay, then that repeats again. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the second time that E flat 6 becomes an E flat 7, and that leads us into the next section. But before we go there, I just kind of walked a little bass line over the chords of the A section, and let's just see if we can repeat it and practice together. So you can either do a half note, one, two, three, four, one, two on each chord, or you could do quarter notes. Or you could mix it up. You'll see I might mix, mix in a few things. So here we go. Let's give it a try.
Arpeggio Maybe put a backbeat thing. So then we get into the A, or that's the A section, then we get into the B section. And on the B section, we get there from that E flat 6 to E flat 7. And then we go to this A flat 13, which is just like the first chord in the song. I've just relocated it to the fourth fret. So 4, 4, 5, 6, A flat 13, then. A diminished 7, which is 5, skip a string, 4, 5, 4, to E flat 6, this time with a B flat in the bass. So it's basically like the chord we had before, but moving the bass note to the 6th string. Then E flat 7, back to A flat 13. A diminished again, and this time a 2-5-1 takes us back home to the A section. So the way I play that is 5-6-5-6, D minor 7 flat 5 to G7 sharp 5, which is basically 3, skip a string, 3-4-4. back to the, the uh, melody, or back to the A section. So let's see if we can go through the A section. We're going to play it into the B section, so it goes A, A, B, A, basically. So here we go. Two, three, four. Nice work. Remember, it takes time to get good at playing jazz. So let's try those changes now with more of a chord melody approach. So once you get those chords sounding clean, you can try and add the melody with those chords, which is a little bit harder, but it sounds really cool. And the idea is that I'm going to harmonize, you know, I'm going to play the melody and then harmonize it and fill it out with those chord shapes. So, if I start from the beginning, I'm going to play... Okay, so that's the first uh, two bars. So I've got that C13 chord we just learned, and I'm going to really bring out that top melody, because here's the melody. That top note. So I'm going to go... And then I'm going to play... 8, 9, put the chord down, A flat 9, and then play on the third string, 8, 10, G7, 
play that top string, that second string. Then do the C7 chord. Okay, so it's... Love makes me treat you the way that I do. And sometimes you can Embellish the melody a little bit, make it, I mean, it's blues, you know. Sometimes I'll slide in the chord like that. Okay, then I get to that F7 flat 9, G baby, and so that's 6, or 7, 6, 8, play that A flat with a B flat in the bass, and then E flat 6. So it just kind of fits into what we just learned, right? And now you can bring out the melody. I really hope you get inspired from this lesson to keep playing and keep practicing. For more information, you can click on the annotation on your screen or the iCard if you're on mobile. You can check out one of the courses from guitarcontrol.com. There's a lot of good ones on there. I've got some on there and a lot of other teachers and content. So be sure to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'm John McLennan. We'll see you in the next video lesson.